The city of Katowice commits to the Intel Extreme Masters. The Premier League kicks off its esports plans, and an esports scene around Super Smash Bros. Ultimate starts to take shape. Today is October 8th. This is your TO Monday morning briefing. Hey, this is Graham Ashton bringing you the biggest esports business headlines of last week. For the next five years, the city of Katowice in Poland will actively support the Intel Extreme Masters, one of the largest annual esports events in the world. The city council has approved a promotional fund of $3.8 million for the multi game esports tournament, which is operated by ESL. Of that fund, $649,000 will go towards the 2019 event. In related investment news, Modern Times Group has increased its stake in Turtle Entertainment, the owners of the ESL brand, to 82.48% for $17 million. In other investment news, Tencent Holdings will purchase more than 25 million shares in fellow Chinese company Billy Billy for a total investment of $317.6 million. The Chinese tech giant will own roughly 12.3% of Billy Billy's total issued shares. Billy Billy owns both a professional League of Legends team and the new Overwatch League expansion franchise in Hangzhou. Meanwhile, Madison Square Garden Company has filed paperwork to spin off its sports businesses, which includes a majority stake in CounterLogic Gaming, as well as the NBA 2K League franchise Knicks Gaming. The transaction is expected to be completed in the first half of 2019. The English Premier League will launch a FIFA 19 esports competition next year in partnership with the game's publisher, Electronic Arts. The inaugural E-Premier League will involve all 20 Premier League clubs, each of whom will hold tournaments to select two players to represent them, one for Xbox One and one for PlayStation 4. In other tournament news, E-League and Nintendo have partnered to present the E3 Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Invitational 2018 on television. This show will feature a three-part series, and indicates Nintendo's increased willingness to present Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as an eSport. The same week, E-League announced it will host the final leg of a three-day Call of Duty Black Ops 4 charity event. The event will be live-streamed on Twitch and then repackaged for a three-part feature series on television. In major partnerships and sponsorships, Squad Up and Engage have signed a deal to manage tickets for a variety of venues, including the newly built arena for the Overwatch League franchise, the Houston Outlaws. Samson's latest commercial features both the Fortnite streamer Ninja and the rapper Travis Scott. Previously, Ninja teamed up with Samson in August for a promotional video for the Samson Galaxy Note 9. Finally, Nickelodeon has partnered with Esports Arena for a promotional Super Smash Bros. tournament. The event will promote the new series Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, complete with signage and logo integration into the broadcast. That's all for this week. If you want to stay up to date with the latest esports business news, you can find daily updates on our website, esportsobserver.com. You can also stay up to date with the TO News app, available off the App Store, or by following us on social media using any of the handles above. We'll see you next week.